Hi guys, so we will discuss about chain rule for differentiation. So what is chain rule? So chain rule is one of the most techniques used in finding the derivatives of functions, particularly composite functions. So let's say we have the given function y which is a composite function f of g of x we can find its derivative y prime using chain rule to be equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x so basically we can interpret chain rule as finding the derivative of the outside function which is f of x evaluated at the inside function g of x times the derivative of the inside function so but what are composite functions by the way so basically composite functions are formed by evaluating a particular function at another function so for example let's say we have f of x is equal to x cubed and g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 so let's say we want to find f of g of x so we will evaluate f of x at the value of g of x so we will substitute g of x to all the x's in our f of x so we have f of g of x equal to g of x quantity cubed so we substitute g of x to the x in our f of x and then we substitute the real value of g of x in terms of x we have 3x squared plus 1 quantity cubed so this will be our composite function f of g of x likewise if we want to find the composite function g of f of x this time we will evaluate g of x at f of x so meaning we will substitute f of x to all the x's in our g of x so we have g of f of x equals to 3 times f of x quantity squared plus 1 and let's substitute the original value of f of x we have 3 times x cubed squared plus 1 and simplifying it 3 times x cubed squared is x to the 6 plus 1 so therefore this is our composite function g of f of x so now let's try to solve some examples of function using chain rule so let's try the composite function that we have just obtained which is uh, let's say we have y is equal to 3x squared plus 1 quantity cubed so this is our function so we have f of x is equal to x cubed as the outside function and g of x as the inside function so we have 3x squared plus 1 so according to the chain rule we have to find first the derivative of the outside function which is f of x so the derivative of f of x 
is equal to 3x squared by using the product formula. And then, f prime of g of x will be 3 times the whole value g of x will be substituted in our x here. So, it will become 3x squared plus 1 squared. And then, for the last formula, we have the derivative of the inside function, which is g of, g of x equal to the derivative of g of x, 3x squared plus 1, will be 6x plus 0, or simply 6x. And therefore, applying this formula, we can now find the derivative of y equal to 3 times 3 x squared plus 1 quantity squared wherein this is this is that part times g of x which is 6x and further simplifying it 3 times 6x 18x times 3x squared plus 1 squared so this is our final answer now let's have some another example let's have y equals sine of 2x squared so again we can decompose this func this fact function again into f of x and g of x so we can let the outside function f of x to be the sine of x and the inside function to be the 2x squared and therefore our y prime will be the derivative of f of x evaluated at g of x so the derivative of sine x will be cosine x and since we will evaluated it at g of x we will copy 2x squared so cosine 2x squared and then we will have to multiply it by the derivative of the inside function g of x which is 2 x squared so its derivative will be simply 4x and then we can rearrange it to be 4x times cosine of 2x squared so this is our final answer for the third example let's try y is equal to 1 plus sine to uh, x squared quantity squared. So we can solve it directly by noticing that we can let automatically the outside function to be this quantity squared and the inside function to be 1 plus sine x squared. So, applying the chain rule, let's apply the product formula for the outside function. So, we have 2 times, copy the inside function, which is sine x squared. Then, as applying the product formula, or the power formula, the exponent will be subtracted by 1. So, therefore, we'll have 1 this. So, no need to write for 1 and then proceed to the product of the derivative of the inside function this time which is 1 plus sine x squared so the derivative of 1 is simply 0 plus the derivative of the sine x squared which we notice that it's also a composite function wherein we can let the outside function to be the sine and 
the inside function to be x squared. So we have first to find the derivative of the outside function sine which is cosine. Then copy the inside function x squared and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside function x squared which is 2x. So let's simplify this. We have 2 times quantity 1 plus sine x squared times 2x cosine x squared and then the final answer will be 2 times 2x 4x times 1 plus sine x squared times cosine x squared so this will be our final answer so Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this topic, chain rule. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.